Hey everyone, welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Rucco. Now, you don't have to be a vegan to like vegan dishes, and of course, vegan restaurants will serve non-vegans too. So, whatever you are, Larissa Wall shows us a tasty trend around San Diego. Expanding your horizons at number one, Soul Cal, a vegan restaurant, offers a nutritious twist to some of your faves. What's the cheesy stuff? This macaroni is made with quinoa noodles, and there's dessert with no processed sugar. One of the Soul Cal creators is celebrity chef Ann Thornton. I think that people assume that it has to taste healthy in order to be healthy, and what we're doing at Soul Cal is making sure that it tastes like the food that you absolutely love and that you're used to, but it's super healthy for you. The new downtown eatery is all organic. Dine in or shop the market. With the market concept, you'll be able to take some of the ingredients that we're using and take them home and start experimenting on your own as well. And and get this, they also have a naturopathic doctor on staff, offering weight loss and hormone help, even IV therapy. We're doing 360 wellness here. Veg on San Diego. Embarrassing at number two. This video shows a new billboard going up in the college area that reveals voter turnout in that neighborhood for the last election, and it's not pretty. 17% or fewer than one in five of registered voters voted. The billboard put up by the Center on Policy Initiatives calls on the neighborhood to do better. Ooh, baby, baby at number three. No surprise, San Diegans make great dates, according to Movado Insider. For one, we're an active bunch and therefore healthy. We're practiced at applying sunscreen all over. We seek and find delicious food, and we love our craft beer. And our sunsets ooze with romance potential. Yep, it's good to be us. Now you're caught up and clued in around San Diego.